good morning. This morning, I'm going to show you guys my garden. I know a couple of subscribers, they want to see my garden. So I'm going to show it to you guys this morning. It's a small garden, but it does produce food. I have gotten cucumbers, corn, um, what else? Cucumbers, corn, what else grew? Garlic, and I think that's about it. But in my garden now, this is garlic right here, which I planted in March, and it takes eight months. And this is how it's supposed to look, you guys. It might look like it's a little dead, but it's not. Um, right here are my potatoes. Yes, I did have a harvest of potatoes as well. And the small potatoes, I put them back in here. And now they are growing. I don't know how the potatoes grow in the wintertime, but I am trying it. Right here are my cucumbers. This is the cucumber plant. I had another cucumber plant that produced, um, they were like round cucumbers, you guys. So I actually took a few of the seeds and put them back in this pot and the cucumber plant has already began to grow. Now, I don't know how they grow in the winter time. I've always grown them in the summer, but we're gonna see how it goes this fall now right here I don't know what's going on with this I don't know if I need to separate you know each individual plant but I put papaya seeds in here just papaya seeds and that's it one of my subscribers told me that the papaya plant is down at the bottom but what is this at the top though? If I only put papaya seeds in here, I don't know how it's gonna grow or what it's gonna be, you guys, but hopefully it develops into a papaya tree. I just be trying stuff, you know, you gotta learn how to take the seeds and just plant them. It ain't nothing really special to do. Just put them in dirt and they are gonna come up. Now right here, I planted watermelon seeds. Now, I did see one small watermelon, but I don't see any more coming up. And as you can see, the watermelon plant, it gets wild, you guys, as you can see. But I see yellow flowers on some of the uh, plant, and maybe that's where the watermelon is supposed to develop. I have no idea. But I know fall is coming, and I don't know if watermelons grow in the fall or not. But I be taking my seeds out of the fruits and vegetables that I have, and I plant them. That's all you got to do. Plant the seeds. Okay, right here is where I planted cherry seeds. So I guess this will become to be a cherry tree. I planted cherry seeds right here too, you guys. And right here, I planted cherry seeds as well. But I'm thinking right here is, I don't know if this is the cherry or is this the peppers? Cause I did plant some peppers. You know your green and red and yellow peppers. I actually take the seeds out and plant them. Okay, right here are pepper plants. I planted these pepper seeds maybe three weeks ago, and they're already coming up, you guys. And that's all that's in this little round circle right here is pepper seeds, like red peppers, yellow peppers, green peppers. And this is also a pepper plant as well, you guys. I come out in the morning to go ahead and water in the morning because the sun 
is so treacherous this year, this summer. So I go ahead and water everything in the morning time so it'll be greatly watered and moist and the sun doesn't affect them. I'm praying for food, you guys. I'm praying for food. Like I said, I have harvest potatoes. I have harvest cucumbers. I have harvest a little corn. I think I, I picked the corn a little bit too early. As a matter of fact, here are the corn stalks. And I actually had the corn planted right here, but I never planted corn seeds before. And it actually looks like a popcorn seed that you get out the popcorn bag and you just plant it. And it was unbelievable to see the corn stalks come up because I never did that before. My main thing that I have planted over the years is cucumbers and it has always been a big success with me. Um, this little thing right here, you know where I got this from? You know how those people be putting those signs out to vote. I just took the sign off and put this in here. And what's going to happen is the cucumber plant is going to grow up. And it's going to grab onto this silver thing right here. I'm going to call it a stake. And it's going to grab onto it so it can grow up and not grow out and spread wide on everything. And once it grows up and attached to this um the cucumbers will develop better so yes you guys this is my garden and i pray for food i really want to get out here with some herbs because i love cilantro and parsley those are herbs but yeah i got my little r for regina i got my little one of these frogs down here and I got these from Dollar General for one cent you guys you know throughout the year they start um, selling things for one cent you know gardening things are for the summer so maybe in about two months they'll be selling things of this matter for one cent even the pots one cent that pot over there one cent pot over there one cent you see what i'm saying these yellow pots right here one cent this beautiful pot right here i just love this one i like the design on it one cent little so yeah there's a lot of gardening items that you can buy and don't think that you could do it try it you have the watermelon seeds that come out your watermelon, the cantaloupe seeds, you have the pepper seeds, you buy the garlic, you know, you buy all these things and they're trying to get rid of the foods that have seeds so we won't be able to grow our own foods. The foods in the stores are contaminated, y'all. So why not grow your own? And the foods from the garden taste better than the foods from the grocery store. I tasted a difference in the potatoes and I tasted a difference in the cucumbers. So you guys start on your little garden. If you stay in an apartment, you can start on the inside of your house. There's a lot of foods that are grown on the inside of your house. And you can also grow it on the patio. You know what I'm saying? You can start out with one thing, cucumbers. Grow the cucumbers. You can start out with potatoes, something that's easy. But we as people these days, we need to learn how to garden and grow our own foods because it's a lot going on with the foods in the grocery stores and we don't want to be sick. We don't want our children to be sick. We don't want our family members to be sick, our friends to be sick. So, hey, grow you a garden and share. I shared a lot this year with friends and family. So, with that being said, I'll be back 
meet me at the garden, baby. Cause you know I'm coming back. Got this sign for one cent as well at Dollar General, baby. So this is what I do every morning. I come out, order the garden. You really want to do it before eight o'clock, you guys, before the sun comes out. Cause here come the sun. You water your garden like you water yourself. You drink water every morning, your garden wants water every morning. You drink water to get all your organs and stuff flowing, your garden wants water for that as well. So yeah, it's not hard to take care of your garden. Plant you some seeds and some soil. You have a choice if you want to make compost or not. But I don't think that it's absolutely necessary, but it does help. You can also make homemade fertilizer with onions and water. Fertilize everything once a month. And you're good to go. Try not to overwater. Because some people be overwatering. They'll water in the morning time, water in the afternoon, water in the evening. Plants don't need that. They need a good watering once a day. And you would most likely do it in the mornings. Now, in the afternoon, if you see that the sun is hitting your garden or your plants a little bit too hard and they start to droop, the only thing that you do is water like the bottom the bottom of the plant and then when you come back out within the next 30 minutes to an hour the plant drooping will have stopped so yeah i like my little garden i like to eat from my garden and when you start your garden you will love to eat from it as well and it don't take a little it just take a little bit of nothing you know you can find a little bucket like that ice cream bucket that's an ice cream bucket over there and i actually put some um pepper seeds in it so it should be coming up in a couple of weeks yeah an ice cream bucket it don't matter what you put it in it put it in some and just get started. That's all. So, I'm going to water it for a few more minutes. I usually like to water it for like five minutes at least. Get a deep soak. And you don't want to just, you want to water it like it's raining. Water it like it's taking a shower. You don't want to just directly, you know, steep the water on there. You don't want to do that. Water it like it's raining. Thank you for tuning in, you guys. And I'll be back. Peace.